The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. My name is Erin, and today we're just going to be covering some questions and kind of going over any of the questions that you may have. So um, to get started, feel free to write any questions you have that you want to cover today in the question box. Uh, we'll get to those in a moment. So any questions you have that you want to cover, like squeeze pages or the personal websites or anything like that, feel free to write it in the question box, and then we'll get those covered today. Um, so basically, with everybody taking so much time off and the holidays and stuff like that, I didn't want to do anything too serious today that you would miss. So that's why we're just going to do question and answer. So write your questions in the question box, and we'll go ahead and cover those today. So with um, agent marketing, you know, something I really wanted to just kind of cover real quick before we do get started with question and answers. Um, I really want to focus on personal marketing. Really make sure that you understand that you get all of these different tools in our system, whether you be a loan officer, a broker, or an agent. We have over 140 features in our system. One of the main things that we have is personalization or customization in our system. So with that being said, you can create as many personal websites as you want. You can actually have them customized to your brand. So if you have a certain look or a certain design you're trying to shoot for, we can do that. We do give you free customization on all property websites, personal websites, any custom printing and stuff like that. So be sure to give us a call. Work with our graphics team to get that done and really kind of focus on the property websites and the personal marketing and stuff like that. Uh, next week, I mean, it's the first of the year, so it's a new start for for um, agent marketing and kind of giving you some options to do some customization and to really get your marketing pieces going. So let's try and get that done and really focus on that as, as the new year is approaching us. So if you have questions about the customization, what's included, feel free to call our support hotline number. You'll see it here at the top of our website. Or you can even chat with us, too. You'll see that there's a chat down at the bottom. So feel free to do that. Uh, so it looks like some questions are coming in. This is awesome here. Let's see here. Uh, so one thing was personal websites. So with personal websites, we have under your personal tab, you have an option to create as many personal websites as you want to. So as a lender, you could create a website about yourself. You could do special loan programs that you focus on. But you also have an option to have as many as you would like. So maybe you want to focus on FHA and then focus on um, doing first-time home buyer websites. So you could do that. For brokers, you could create a broker website about your brokerage. You could have your agent roster on there. You can have uh, your agent's listings on there. You can have the IDX. And then you can also do a recruiting website. So if you're looking to recruit new agents to your brokerage, you could do that. That's something that we have a lot of brokers in our system utilizing. Agents, for you, you have so many different options. If you want to do a specific community website, you could do a website about golf course homes or those luxury beach homes, or maybe you specialize in desert homes or land. You could create a website for each one of your little niche marketing tools that you're utilizing in the system. You can also create a website about yourself. So you just add new. When you click on add new, it will ask you to add in a description. With the description, this is giving you an option to create a website about whatever you want. So you can use this description so you know which website is which website. So it's for you to only see, um, but we give you the description so you know which website is going to be which. So say that I'm going to be doing this home for my golf course homes. So I can select golf course homes and have that be in there. Oh, I forgot to do, oh well, that's fine. Um, so now I know that this one is going to be my personal website and this website that I have here is going to be my golf course homes. So that way you know you can always go back and view which websites you have and which is which that you want to edit, that you want to change, anything like that. At any given time, you can choose to turn them on or off. So say that you're not really focusing on golf course homes right now. So we're going to turn that one off and move to something else. So what it does is it just tells you that it's offline, but you have all of your other websites online. You can choose to change the layout by changing or clicking on the fourth icon in, which is going to be the little layout option. 
We have nine different templates you can choose from. You also have an option to copy a layout. When you copy a layout, if we've done a custom design for you, it's only going to pull the design portion. It will not customize or pull any of the content because you're not going to have websites that are going to be copied and have all of the same content. You wouldn't necessarily want to have double content on your website. So we just pull the layout, copy that layout for you, and you'll be able to see all of your different designs here. Um, if you do the customization, you can see all of the different designs and you can choose to copy it. So again, it just pulls the layout design. It doesn't pull any of the content that's on there because you don't really want to have a website with duplicate content. So that's why we do that. Uh, so you can select your layout, and then once you've selected the layout, if you're interested in doing the custom design, then you can give us a call and do that. Um, so in order to change the actual content, you click on the little menu icon here, which is going to be menu, and then once you do that, it gives you an option to change the pages and change the customization on here. So if you're looking to kind of group some stuff together, what you can do is you can click on Add Group. So we'll say that um, this is going to be, we'll say, um, Program. And then we can click on Add. So any of the programs that we want to have under here, so we can put the glossary, and when you when you want to move it, you just hover over this little uh, the little grayed out boxes here, and you move it under where you want to. But if you're doing a group, you'll need to do it to where you see this little icon pop up. So you'll see this pop up, and then you just kind of slide it right under. So then we can move buyers under there. So we'll move that, and then we can even do move the programs under there too. So now when we go view our website, I'm going to click on view. When you go to actual view the website, you'll see where it says programs now and it has all the subtitle or it's got the sub um, tabs under here. So this is a good thing to have available for you because it allows you to customize your page a little bit more. Um, just so you know too, we have recently redone layout 7 a little bit more. So there's kind of some new customization with layout 7. So take a look at this. If it's something you really like, let us know. We can go through and we can customize this to match your branding that you're going for. But Layout 7 is one of our more popular layouts, and we've kind of went through and did some revamping for you and customized it a little bit more. So you have that available for you. So that's setting up the personal websites and customizing it. You can go through and click on the little page uh, edit pencil. When you click on the edit pencil for the page, that's where you can go through and actually change the content on here. So that gives you an option for that. Um, so that's how you do that. Um, keep asking questions. If you have questions that you want to cover, I'm going to read through these real quick and see which ones I can answer here. All right, let's see. Um, is there a scheduled weekly meeting for realtors? Well, they are also a part of What's Up Wednesday, so anybody that is an, a member of Agent Marketing can join in to What's Up Wednesday. So they'll be able to find the What's Up Wednesday registration link on their dashboard. You'll see it here. Or if they need the link sent over to them, they can also find it under the Get Help section under Strategy. So if you click on the little book icon in the top right-hand corner and then go to Strategies, You'll see here down towards the bottom, it will say sponsor webinars or agent getting started. And then you'll see that there's the training webinar that they can attend. Uh, let's see. Are there plans to enhance the drip newsletters to help nurture and convert leads? Uh, so with the email drip campaigns, we kind of just give you a little starting portion. And from there, you actually have an option to customize them and edit the leads or the uh, email drip campaigns. So under the leads tab and under email drip, we do have some pre-generated content for you. You can customize them and you can edit them. It really gives you an option to make them more yours and kind of something that you can utilize and, and have that avail available to you. Um, another question was squeeze pages to help generate leads. So under the leads tab, you'll go to the leads tab and then go to to squeeze pages. Now when you go to squeeze pages, you'll see that there's a section called add new. So we're going to go ahead and click on add new. Now there's nine different templates you can choose from for the squeeze pages. You can choose to create any one of these. 
And when you create them, it will populate here on your page. So let me just pull this one up here for you to take a look at. So this one's a um, home buyer made easy. It's actually really bright and kind of funky looking because I was just doing some testing on this. But you can go through and change any of this content at any time, change the colors, change the theme. For agents, you also have under your personal tab, which this is one of the best lead generation tools we have, um, under the personal tab and personal website, you'll see that you have a seller leads website that you can utilize. With the leads, the seller leads website, you can take this and actually build Facebook ads with this and help get leads generated. Anytime a consumer fills this out, we capture their address, their email address, and their phone number, so then you can follow up with them and give them the CMA report. This, I have had so much positive response from agents utilizing this with the Facebook ads, and they have been getting so many good, hard leads that are really good, and they've been able to convert them into either selling their home or buying a new home or kind of keeping them in the loop. So when they're ready to buy a home, then they can use them as the preferred agent or even the lender. So this is a really good thing to have. Again, you can find this under the Personal tab. And under Personal Websites, you'll see that there's the Seller Leads website. And this website is awesome. Um, there was a question asking if that photo can be changed. Yes, it can be changed. If you have a high-resolution photo that you want us to change it to, just let us know. You can call our support team and let them know. Or you can go to iStock and choose a free image from there and let us know which image you would like to use, and we can go ahead and change that out for you. We do understand that this theme isn't necessarily going to be what you'll want to use if you're working in Kansas in the middle of land country. So um, you know, this may work for people in California or people in the desert, but we definitely understand. So. If you have a high resolution photo that you would like to use for this background image, just let us know and we can get that changed out for you. Uh, you guys are so awesome with all of your questions. So let me just keep reading through these. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just reading through some of the questions here. Okay, so there was a question, um, specific property specific with the custom websites. You can have property specific websites, but you can also have personal specific websites. So if you want to focus on a personal website that you're just using for golf course communities, you can create community pages to add on there. You can have it customized to match your golf course homes all of those different things. So if you're focusing on waterfront properties or mountain view properties, you can do a personal page about those mountain view properties. And we can do a really cool background header for you that's mountain view. And you can list all the properties that are going to be your mountain view homes on that website. So that's something that's definitely possible. To get that going again, all you would need to do is call our support hotline number and let them know that you want to get that going. And they can walk you through how to do that. So it would just be our graphics team getting the design portion going, and then we can show you how to set up the community pages as well. Um, another question was, is the neighborhood reports available yet? Not quite yet. Our programmers are finishing up the touches on that just to make sure that that all runs smoothly. As soon as that does become available, I'll let you know. Um, I know that's definitely important to a lot of you, so we'll be having that available, and we'll definitely get back to you. Uh, let's see. Sorry, just reading through some of these questions. Uh, so there was a question from a lender asking about FISBOs. So we do have a portion in agent marketing for the lenders. If you go to the little get help icon here, the little book icon, and click on strategies here, you'll see a section on the left-hand side that it says sponsor FISBO program. We do have some great little marketing tools. We have some scripts you can use from a lender calling to FISBOs and kind of using that as, a, as an initial way to get through. So if you're a loan officer in the system, I definitely recommend coming to the Sponsor FISBO program. Again, you can find that under the Get Help section here to the right-hand corner, and you'll go to Strategies. And then to the left-hand side, you'll see Sponsor FISBO program. 
All right. And then there was another question asking about where to get the photos to change on that seller leads website. If you go to iStock.com, you're able to find some photos and just let us know which one you like, or feel free to call our support team and just kind of, you know, walk, they can walk you through how to get that image going. Um, let's see. Sorry, just reading through the questions. Um, where is the link or embed code to add the seller leads website to Facebook? So you go to your personal page here at the very top, go to personal and then personal website. You'll see the seller leads website and to post on the Facebook ads, you just need to copy one of these URLs, whichever one you prefer to use, and you can use that as your Facebook, your Facebook um, app or your, yeah, your Facebook um, ads, you can use that link. So just copy any one of these links. You'll have three different ones to choose from. All three are the exact same website, just different URLs for you to choose from. So you can choose whichever one you would like to use. All right. So any other questions that you have about the system or that I can help with? Uh, there was another question asking the best way for Facebook ads. If you go to the little book icon here, so you'll click on the book and go to strategies, and then you'll go over in the middle. You'll see that you have all of these different strategy sections here. We have one for social media. So if you go down to social media here in the middle, you'll see that there's a Facebook advertising lead generation guide. So we've given you a step-by-step -step guide. And here, I'll put this in the question box right now for you. Let me just pull this back out here. So you should be able to see that in the question box. I just posted the little fit, the Facebook ad um, guide for you. This gives you the step-by-step the -step instructions um, as far as we know as of lately how to create the Facebook ad. And so I would definitely use this as a guide. This is going to be really helpful for you, giving you step-by-step -step instructions. I'll also post it here in the chat box so you can have it in the chat box. So you should be able to see that and view that at any given time. Um, with that, that's going to be a really awesome way to get some leads going. I, like I said, using the, um, the seller leads website under your personal tab, we've had a lot of great agents have this and have great success utilizing that. So really, really try and use the seller leads website with the Facebook ads. I guarantee you'll get some leads out of it. Like I said, we've had a lot of agent success. I've had some agents coming to me saying, thank you so much for letting me know about the seller leads website and posting ads on Craigslist. I've gotten a bunch of CMA reports generated, and I've gotten a lot of good leads out of it. So it's been really helpful. So just kind of letting you know, I mean, if you're looking for lead generation, that's going to be one great way. Also using the text codes for your properties, too. So those, that's another good option. Let's see. All right. Uh, so there was a question about revamping the IDX. Um, that's definitely something I will suggest and put into the box of suggestions for 2017. Um, I know that's something that is in, kind of important, so I will suggest that to the programmers right after this and see what we can do about revamping that and kind of customizing it. So thank you so much for the, the feedback. I will definitely throw that in there and make sure that the programmers are aware that it, <laughs> it needs to be updated. Um, I have heard you will be doing some geographic farming mailing products. Yes, that will be something we are currently finishing up on and will have available to you shortly. Um, as soon as that is available, we'll definitely let you know. That's going to be under the neighborhood watch for everyone. You'll be able to actually have postcards actually ordered, and we send them out for you. So you don't have to do anything. So when we do that, I'll let you know we'll have a webinar on it and really cover step by step on how to get that going. So that will be something really exciting for 2017. Any other questions I can answer for you? Anything you have? Anything? 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 All right, well, I'll hang on the line for a few more minutes, and if I can answer any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, it looks like that's pretty much it for questions, though, so I hope everybody has a happy new year. 
be safe. Enjoy the rest of 2016, and we'll see you next Wednesday on um, on or we'll see you Wednesday in 2017. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a happy new year. We'll talk to you next year. Thanks.